Yeah, you hear a lot about prostate cancer and you never think it's gonna to happen to you. Because I, I think men, as you look at them, and they're so distracted because of the life they live. They're worried about their job. They're worried about their, their whole career, or their promotion, or their salary for their family, or their retirement once they reach whatever age it may be. You can talk about the reason that men don't talk about it is because they're macho, but the real reality is, is because it's talking about a very personal, private part of your body and how it works and nobody wants to talk about that. There's a place on this campus called the Hidden Crucifix in the Woods. And there's a statue of Mary and Mary Magdalene and Jesus on the cross. There's people going to school here for seven years doesn't know where, where to find it, but it's there. I was there that morning on April 28th and Dr. Mark Toth called me and said, you got prostate cancer. And I look at the statue of Christ on the cross and Mary and Mary Magdalene, I said, the three of you know. I said, okay, you're telling me go after it. I can't really underscore enough how much fear there really was for him and because it was the fear of the unknown, because he had never gone through surgery before, his only perspective was Jimmy Valvano. And I'll never forget when they found out he had cancer and they opened him up and there's more tumors than they thought. He thought he had a back problem. So I'm thinking about Jimmy, what if they open me up and find more than what I have? So it's the fear of the unknown, which really, really scares you. And being an undertaker's son, and being realistic about death, you know, you're gonna die, yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna die. But do you wanna die right now? Are there more things you wanna do? Are there things you didn't appreciate that you should appreciate? Or are you just uh, putting it off to tomorrow? Well, tomorrow may not come. Because now all of a sudden, you know, it's bye-bye. Now what do you do about it? Attack it. Full court zone press. Go after it. You can beat it. And you can take that winning shot just like Dwight Clay did here to beat UCLA 71-70 and then the 88 game winning streak. You'll end that streak of you getting cancer spreading from the prostate to other parts of your body. And I give my support system uh, to my daughter Karen um, and, and my family, my children, Rick and Jen, as well as Linda for just being around. But you go through it yourself. I didn't want anybody to know about it. Those that knew on the inside, my family, they surrounded me and trusted what I wanted to do the way I wanted to handle it myself. I tried to stay away when he wanted me to stay away and I tried to be there when I thought that's what he needed. It's your personal right to say to your family, I don't want people to know. Wanting it to be private, not wanting a lot of people to know what was going on, answering his questions, even if it was the same one asked, 10 different times. Everything went to perfection as far as trusting what support you have from the medical staff that knows what they're doing. I did anything and everything they wanted me to do, but I beat it because of early detection. And what men don't know and understand, you gotta go in there because it's when you're gonna get it. Because one out of six men get prostate cancer. So for you to sit there and say, I'm fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm scared. Yeah, you are scared. I just don't think he wants anybody to suffer needlessly and prostate cancer is one of those cancers that you don't have to die from and he believes that passionately and if he can help one or a hundred he wants to do it. Women do a great job. On the 8th of every month they wear pink. Why? One out of eight women get breast cancer. So what I'm saying is the 6th of every month Guys should be looking at each other, where's your blue? I think he feels very blessed and lucky that it happened to him the way that it happened. And he also feels like it was because he had control over and took control over his health.